I know it's a few months away, but how do you think he will adapt into this system and, more importantly, your wife's here before? Oh, I think, I mean, Britt is a, a different breed of cat. I mean, he adjusts well. Uh, he's a leader. He, uh, he just does things differently. He, Has he, he always a, been that way going back to when ever you since him in high school? I, ever since I've been around him, you know, when he um, had him down in camp down south, he's just different. I, I can't. He's a very unique kid, that, uh, now a young man, really, who, who just gets it. So I, I don't think the adaption will be anything. It, it'll be, for him, will be uh, the physical liabilities that come with uh, going on a mission. But, you know, with him, I, I expect him to be 100% when he gets when he gets back through his training and things like that. Were you surprised that it kind of developed sort of a cult following from this fan base? I mean, people were following his every move on his mission, and he had a covey day, according to Utah football. Is that surprising to see, or is that just kind of the type of person that he is? Well, I think two things that, that really helps. If you're a player, people follow you. Right. You make plays, and, you know, as um, – to deny uh, all the stereotypes of the position. Let's just be honest. He, sure. You know, he's 5'9". Uh, you know, some people, you know, would probably compare him to Wes, Wal Wes Welker, but, you know, he just doesn't meet any of the stereotypes that you that you think fits the position. So, no, I'm not surprised. And then he's a great personality, and he's just a natural-born leader, and that, that helps. His parents did a great job developing him. Bron Bronson Boyd is obviously getting a second chance here after coming here from Texas Tech. Um, you guys had a lot of success with a receiver last year in Darren Carrington who, who performed well on his second chance. What have you seen from Bronson that the leads you to believe that he could have a similar level of success? I mean, I don't know that, uh, you know, maybe you know more about the Texas Tech situation than I do. We re I recruited Bronson out of high school. Um, I don't think it's a second chance. I think he, he made the decision to leave, and um, it was a mutual parting of ways is the best way to look at it. I don't think he felt he was a fit there, and um, he chose to come here. So I think uh, I wouldn't compare those two situations. Bronson was an a 18-year-old kid when he got here. Darren Carrington was a grown man who spent four and a half years in college. Um, so I, I think he has a skill set that translates for what we do. I loved him in high school as a receiver, and um, he's played very low football, guys. Bronson Boy was a basketball player and played his, uh, his first year playing was his junior year at Oak Ridge uh, in Dallas, and then didn't play his senior year. He actually played one game, and he had a labrum tear, and. Uh, People convinced him to, to get it surgically repaired now at that point so that. he could enroll early, and that's what he chose to do. But I think Brent, uh, Bronson translates well. I don't look at it as a as a second chance. I mean, these are 18-year-old kids. They make bad decisions uh, where to go to school sometimes. And uh, I knew his parents, and I think he's a, a, a good kid who, you know, I'm, we're fortunate to have here. We're, we're did you see the most progress from him during his red shirt year? Oh, probably during the bowl practice. I really realized that uh, uh, he's he's going to come on. He's got to learn to control some things. He's got to learn the nuances of the position, having not played it much. But uh, I think he'll compete to start here in the, uh, in the spring, and then it all starts over in the summer. So it's going to be how much he puts into it. Is this the best wide receiver group that you've had since being here? You know, that's hard to say. Uh, <laughs> I think every group is different. Uh, if you go top to bottom, talent-wise, let's, let's see. Ask me that after the season. Uh, it's all about results. I mean, we, have, we do have some talent. I mean, Brian Thompson's not practicing. Um, I'm looking forward to when he gets back. Um, you know, he's only a sophomore. Tyquez Hampson is a sophomore. Bronson is a, a freshman. Jalen Dix is a freshman. It's definitely the youngest. Uh, if you say, is it the youngest talented group, I would say, yeah. But uh, I, I don't want to slight Tim Patrick and that crew or last year's. I mean, Darren Carrington uh, and, and, and uh, COC and, and, and Ray and that group. I, I think it just depends on how much you produce. So with that, with it being the youngest talented group, where, where do these guys need to improve the most as a whole? I mean, we don't need to talk about individuals you know, specifically, but just as a whole, where do they need to improve the they most? They need to improve the nuances of the game, understanding route running, understanding how to be physical, understanding when to finish. Um, we catch the ball well, uh, but it's never good enough. Uh, you know, let's, uh, 
it's always something to improve on. So if you you ask me that next week, I'm going to tell you probably the same thing. When I get satisfied, we fail. So it's always going to be something. We need to get off the ball and release. And we have big, tall corners here, so we need to be physical. And uh, that's the thing that I believe physical receivers make plays. It's only been a week, but what impresses you about a quarterback like Jack Tuttle? Uh, I think Jack is, uh, is, is good. He 